What's up beautiful people? It's your girl Janaya Leah and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I don't have my phone right here with me right now to show y'all but it's currently 4.28 a.m. And I have kind of been doing this thing where I have been trying to wake up earlier. Not really anything like specific i haven't been trying to like force myself into any routine but i've been kind to, i've been kind of like gradually trying to just work work at just getting up early and doing something so i already have read a couple of verses for the day usually what i like to do when i try to get up at like 4 a.m is just get out the bed that's the easiest thing for me but i'm not even gonna hold y'all i'm about to get back in the bed because sometimes when i don't have anything to do i'm just like okay i'll do my work in the bed but let me just tell y'all so this is probably going to be one of the quickest turnaround vlogs y'all have ever gotten from me at this point because tell me why last week so currently this week is the week of like juneteenth june 16th whatever Tell me why last week and the week before that I filmed so many videos. Like I filmed so many videos like from my part two wedding vlog to um, like deep cleaning videos. I filmed another like just day in the life vlog. It was some good content period. But you know what? Maybe it, maybe it was a sign. Girl, you be taking too long. You need to edit them videos faster. You need to, you need to get on your Zoom. Because tell me why. I edited most of them. And I like to like... Sometimes when I edit, I will edit the videos fully through. And then I'll pause when it's like, okay, I got to add music. Or okay, I got to add a voiceover. And then it'll just take me a week to circle back and like add the voiceover and add the music and upload but i knew i had at least three videos that were just waiting on me to like hit upload and sometime during last week my hard drive like didn't even come out of my computer but it will come out like just wiggle out like a centimeter like a centimeter and freaking eject from my computer and if you have a hard drive like you know when them things come out when they're not properly ejected especially if it's like a really big spacious hard drive and mine is like five terabytes y'all they will literally like crash corrupt so sometimes all i have to do is put it back in and do like first aid or whatever on my computer and other times i have to like leave it in for days and you know be doing first aid first aid like girl it's like i'm doing cpr on my hard drive and so I kind of did that on this one and it wasn't popping up like immediately, but I just kept doing first aid like every day, every day because I'm trying to get these videos out. Girl, I get back on here today trying to do it and well, actually yesterday trying to do it. And thankfully the hard drive, it did at least pop up on the computer. And so I was like, are we good? So I go in there, I open up like my Final Cut Pro, get ready to edit. Yo, why I go to edit? and like none of my footage is there like when i say none of my footage and i have footage like on my final cut pro because it doesn't really delete your footage once you edit the videos i literally have footage on there from like a year two years ago at this point like seriously so i get on there and at that point it's showing that like my footage is empty so i'm like okay hold on what's going on what's going on so you know i get on i get on google google telling me to do all these things doing all these things and at this point when i was doing them i knew something was wrong because they were taking literally forever like i'm just doing like small stuff and it was just loading like i cooked the whole hello fresh meal just while it was loading it was just taking forever so at that point um it just wouldn't even let me open up like any old projects that i did find and Final Cut Pro usually automatically backs up your stuff, but when I would click on view the backup, it would it would open and it'll show that I had videos there that I edited and how long they were. But when I would click on them, literally all the files and basically all the video content that was actually in those videos were literally missing. They were literally missing. 
so with that being said y'all i don't like I was just like, dang, I literally had like four videos edited and I really liked those videos. But you know what, at this point, I should have edited them quicker and just went ahead and downloaded them to my computer. Just going to end up going to Target today and getting a whole new hard drive because that's usually what you have to do with these type of things is you literally have to just discard of the hard drive sometimes unless you want to pay for somebody to like repair it but i just don't know like i'm like is there an alternative because i'm sick of having these dang hard drive problems i just i don't know fire could come out of my ears right now i literally filmed and i had the voiceovers on this one i filmed an entire week in my life as a cosmetology student vlog gone i really hurt my feelings anyways it's too early so look it's 4 37 right now um i kind of just finished like doing some wedding stuff i kind of like i wouldn't consider myself the most organized person but i just like to have things in order to where people don't really have to ask me questions so i don't want to show y'all like too too much in detail but i'm just kind of going to show y'all a little bit of what i like had to print out this is like a little packet. This is a little packet of like 13 pages and I kind of just printed out like small details and everything um, about the wedding. So I have like reference photos of how I want certain things and like where I want them. And then here, I literally actually wrote out where, like what needs to go on what. So if I had one table, what needs to go on every table? Um, what else? Then I had some stuff in here for the rehearsal. Then, you know, the walking order, all that good stuff. And I may still continue to add stuff to that, but that has kind of been what I have been working on for like the past couple of days, just because I um, finally got like a coordinator or whatever, person who's gonna be in charge of the event. And obviously, even though I have been planning most of the things myself, I won't be able to tell everyone what to do on the day of. Somebody's going to have to do it for me. And so I just kind of, even though I have like talked to them and verbally like told them, you know, what I want and kind of what the plan is looking like. I also want to have it in writing so that when I'm not there, there's not really too many questions. Obviously, you can leave some stuff so like creative judgment or creative liberty or whatever but with other things it's like i'm gonna just write it down for you i'm gonna write it down for you but anyways i also went back to get my makeup done that was very exciting but y'all at this point in the game that really just hurt my feelings like what's going on with my hard drive so i had already in my mind last night if that does not work out i'm going to spend today vlogging but I'm also gonna um I'm also just gonna go ahead and grab my computer and plan out some content for today. Unfor well not unfortunately, but I guess I'll say today through the end of the month because y'all do know like beginning of the jo July end of the month is my wedding. So I guess I'll probably just have to like be pushing them things out or have a lot scheduled for when I actually am off for probably about two weeks or whatever which i still be i will still be recording content during that time as well but i think that's what i'm gonna do today is just kind of like plan out some content um plan out some content and also get some videos like not necessarily scripted but outlined because i also want to start doing more like talking videos and stuff on tiktok because i think they're really fun but the thing about me is and if y'all have been on my channel for a minute then y'all know this I when I talk I have a hard time like talking about one thing I have a hard time like staying on one topic so yes I always love me a cute little talk get ready with me but chat we gonna talk about like a thousand things and that's fine in a regular conversation but I know I be trying to you know I have a hard time getting to the point that's what I'm saying and it just took me so long to say that but I have a hard time getting to the point so what I decided I'm gonna do is obviously have a central theme of every video but basically jot down just points that I need to make throughout the video like the important points that need to be made throughout the video and then obviously there will just be some videos where it's just like there's really no like point 
or whatever because there doesn't always have to be a point but that's the that's the plan so kind of write out some of those um what else obviously obviously we need to go to target because i have to get another little thing thing and then probably by the end of today i want to go ahead and get this video edited at least so that means since the day is starting early we have to somewhat finish early so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and get my laptop because i just know that hard drive ain't even working i ain't gonna, I ain't even gonna hold y'all i just know it's not working so i'm gonna go get my laptop we're gonna get some stuff started up in here and let's get and i'm also not like a big caffeine girly but i feel like if i was right now would be the time Ooh child this hair is itchy does anybody else not like to feel their hair like at all when it's time to go to bed like when i go to bed i would actually want to be bald because i don't want to feel any hair like on my neck my back nothing nothing okay y'all the first aid is still running let me like literally let me show y'all because it really shouldn't take this long like if whatever you're running first aid on it's okay it shouldn't take this long and i'm finna snatch it out because at this point i'm upset like that truly don't make no sense okay i'm gonna get into playing out this content i'm gonna also see if any of my videos did download because that would be great if someone just told me hey upload this video and i like upload the video so not what you think it's not what you think i didn't fall asleep y'all i look like i want to and i probably do want to go to sleep oh the sun still ain't even up yet but anyways it is currently 6 28 it's currently 6 28 and y'all i was yawning because i like to work in my bed like <sighs> it really does feel good and a lot of people say oh don't do it don't do it i'm working in the bed okay and i feel like let's get up close that's how, that's how y'all know that's how y'all know i'm tired because look at the tear <sighs> oh, okay but yeah i feel like one thing about a content creator that a lot of people don't talk about enough is the fact that people just assume we don't work like they just assume we don't work but honestly you guys i and i tell people this all the time con content creation is a business you're still an entrepreneur and one thing that's understood about entrepreneurs and just about any other field is the fact that because they work for themselves they're literally always working and not always you know getting paid like i mean sometimes in general and sometimes nearly as much as they should be for the work that they're doing and so content creation is literally somewhat the same in the sense where i am literally always working and obviously since most of my work is like on my phone like anywhere my phone is i am which means like i'm always working so whether i'm like laying in a bed at 11 o'clock and i'm already on the phone and i get an email i'm like okay you know let me check this out or whatever <sighs> Ooh. so i'm sitting here like making thumbnails or whatever there is like low-key like always something for me to do am i always doing it absolutely not but there is always something to be done but anyways y'all so i was i've been sitting here um brainstorming plus 
good news i actually did the last two vlogs that i was editing i actually did end up uploading them now unfortunately one of them like it's incomplete and obviously i don't have the rest of the footage to complete the video but the video like it just ended on this one clip like mid-sentence and i was like but wait what what's next and i was like wow video just ended huh so that video is incomplete but then my whole cosmetology school vlog i was literally just laying here watching that but my computer just died and i didn't bring my charger in here so that probably just means it's time to get up out the bed but i was sitting here watching my cosmetology weekly vlog and i was like yes we made it because i really didn't want to have to refilm that y'all and also i didn't really i really didn't want to have to refilm it one because that was such a good week like i i really don't talk much about you know cosmetology school <sighs> girl i gotta get up I really don't talk much about like cosmetology school and kind of how that's going like the experience because a lot of it has just been like mentally draining and I feel like a lot of times when I do kind of talk about it people assume that it's the people which it very well may be some people but not like as much as you think like it's just mentally draining and obviously when an environment is mentally draining like I don't care how much you like the people child that's just like working at a job where you love your co-workers but hate the job so that that kind of breaks down cosmetology school and i'm almost done at this point i have about 550 hours left to complete which sounds like a lot now and it's about four or five months or whatever but i'm just ready to get it done y'all like okay let me get out of this bed let me get out of this bed child oh oh my gosh let me change this camera back. i'm back i'm gonna make me some cereal but yeah like i was saying there have just been like let me get my cereal it feels like we're on facetime right now but like i was saying there have just been like moments and stuff lately especially like with cosmetology school and stuff going on where i have just been like oh my gosh i just do not want to do this anymore like i don't want to be here I don't even think I want to do hair anymore like it's just been very draining and I feel like you know obviously I'm not the only one that feels this way because one thing that you have to realize is cosmetology like cosmetology school is something that literally goes off of time meaning you know it's easy for it to feel like a waste of time or that there's something better you can be doing with your time because like me there are many of like my other classmates who actually have to like go to work and clock in in order to make money so obviously for them they're having to sacrifice this x amount of money to come to school and hopefully when they get get out of school to like supplement that income and kind of same thing like on my part which i could do better i'm up at 4 a.m and that has kind of really been helping me so far because it's kind of taken um some of the pressure just off of like my day because honestly speaking when i go to school like after school i be wanting to get home and i be wanting to chill i just want to chill but i go to school y'all i go to school i clock in i clock out then i get home and it's like bye mommy some hard ass mama bye mommy some hard ass and i'm like i just want to go to school <laughs> But no, if I don't miss out all this, you gotta get in your Zoom. You gotta get in your Zoom with Tia or they gonna fire me. Or whatever she said. Obviously, I'll be on TikTok. Obviously. But y'all get the point. So I just do wanna get home and I want to chill. But it's like, no, girl. You didn't have videos that you recorded two months ago that need to be edited, sweetie. You need to upload, girl. You need to, you know, get on your Zoom get on your zoom and what a lot of people don't realize is this is my job and so it takes a lot of discipline because i've noticed and i tell people this all the time when they ask me like what is it like being a content creator like blah 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 and me i'm gonna be honest with y'all i low-key downplay my job all the time and i really need to stop and i think it has kind of been because <clears throat> part of me is still in disbelief that this is what I do for a living. And it actually hit me the other day 
I've been doing this for like two and a half years. I quit my job at T-Mobile like two and a half years ago. And this is literally what I have been doing, like pay my bills. And I'm just like so thankful <clears throat> to God for making this like way for me. And thankful to y'all for like always watching my videos and just kind of been there despite the fact that I may go missing a month at a time. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, and I don't know if that's considered like imposter syndrome or what, but sometimes I just, I'm like, sometimes when I think about what I do for a living or like when somebody asks, hey, yeah, you know, like, what do you do? It's almost like I don't know what I do. But yeah, like I was saying, it's almost like I just don't know like what I do or whatever. But no, I had to realize one of the biggest things that I had to realize kind of as of lately, because if you know, you know but prior to youtube i have had a decent amount of jobs and one thing about me and my dad he never liked this but hey you gotta do what you gotta do i will quit a job like you getting on my nerves you being mean to me these customers get on my nerves i gotta go i'll quit a job but one thing i realized not only in doing that but just in actually having experience working jobs for periods of time is that the difference between I would say the difference between working like a regular job I don't even want to say nine to five because my shifts was more like nine to nine and whatever whatever but the difference between those and this I would say is not necessarily commitment but more so discipline and I tell this to my sister all the time but just the fact that if we would put in as much effort as we did into those jobs that we work for these big corporations and for other people, if we would put that same amount of effort into what we were doing for ourselves, like for our businesses and the things that we are starting for ourselves, we literally would not be basically complaining about the things that we complain about. Like for example, I really try not to complain about anything like when it comes to, you know, my, you know, TikTok, my YouTube, like, any of my platforms because I know and I acknowledge that I can be more consistent. I know and I acknowledge that I can be like better, that I can do things better. So with that being said, until I get to that spot and there's nowhere that I can like, there's no excuses to be made, we ain't making no excuses. Or there's nothing like, there's basically nothing on my part that can be said, then I'll be quiet or then I'll say something. But as of right now, I know, like, I just, I just know it. And so that's why I have kind of been enjoying, like, being able to wake up earlier and get things done. Because, girl, if I have to be at school at 9 and I wake up at 4 a.m., not even to talk about the days where I don't have to be school to school at 9, I get so much done between the hours of 4 a.m. and 11 a.m. Like, that's a whole day's worth of work. Because usually what would happen is I would come home from school around, like, 4 three whatever and try to do work until it's time to go to bed but then i also have to like cook dinner and stuff girl i will literally be working sometimes to like 12 o'clock i'll be working till 12 o'clock and i'm like oh my gosh i'm about to eat my breakfast and i'm gonna see what we can do because obviously it's still early stores don't open for like the next four or five hours so probably gonna keep doing this i may go ahead and like do my hair and makeup film a couple of videos and film a video real quick because yeah but okay i will see y'all in a little bit let me eat my breakfast okay y'all so i'm actually getting ready to film a get ready with me because i'm gonna go ahead and film uh hold on a cosmetology school video just uh things to know and expect when starting cosmetology school part two so i'm about to go ahead and film a little get ready with me for tiktok and i will be talking to y'all at the same time okay wait a minute because why did nobody tell me how bad getting your legs waxed hurts so for those of y'all who don't know i'm in cosmetology school my cosmetology school also has an s also has an aesthetics program so we'll be in there learning waxing sugaring you know skincare services all that good stuff right and you know me i i, I love all these things now I hate going to school, but outside of school, I love all these things. So when it comes to like demos and whatnot, I'm the first one to lay my behind on that table. So when I heard wax, I was literally 
baby. I was like, okay, I got hair. Which was low key a lie because I did laser for a couple of months so my hair is like barely there, but still. So my armpits didn't make the cut, but my legs did. So I'm like, all right, bet. Yes, I didn't wear my legs waxed before. Let's do this. Mind you, before I started doing laser, I used to get Brazilians. So like, I know a little pain. And when I tell y'all, I was legit excited, like, to get on that table because I was like, yes, ma'am, like, mm. and I already had it planned out in my mind. Like, I'm only gonna do the knee to the ankle. Y'all don't need no thigh or nothing like that because I hardly wear dresses anyway. Like, I, you know, it is what it is. And y'all, this is a tip for, you know, anybody who does any type of services and who else may be in school. But listen, don't talk about how painful a service may be while your client on the table. Now this was a little different because obviously I'm a student at the school, but still, don't talk about it because y'all, why I was on the table, why everybody start talking about how painful the leg was and how this and this and all the individual stories and I'm sitting on the table like, all right, can we just, can we get to it? So I'm not gonna lie, the conversations, you know, they made me a little nervous. I was just like, girl, can you like, go ahead and rip me, you know, rip me out of plastic. <laughs> Can you go ahead and rip my leg out the plastic real quick? So we finally get into it and y'all, when I tell y'all, she laid that wax on <clears throat> and after that first rip, after that first rip child, my whole body tensed up cause I had a moment of, why did I lay on these people's table? And now I'm dramatic. I like, I, I, I own that. I'm a little dramatic, but not that bad. Like y'all know the part on a Brazilian where they gotta like get the lip, girl. It was worse than that. And I knew it was bad because my homegirl, who's also, she was gonna get waxed next. She was sitting next to me holding my arm. She said, girl, your arm just got hot. Girl, the blood was boiling because I was sitting here like, why did I get on these people's table? So I'm sitting there on the table, patch missing off my leg. And at that point, I'm just like, give me a towel, give me a towel. I'm gonna just cover my face because if I look at this, we ain't gonna make it. So they give me a towel. Now at this point, I'm getting I'm getting waxed with a towel over my head. And that was not what you think. I wasn't on there like, ah, girl, th this was me. Hold on. This the towel. This was me under, under the towel. When I say full body twitch, I literally mean full body twitch. And see, I also thought I was one of the people, I considered myself to have a high pain tolerance. Absolutely not. Child, so they getting through this leg and I feel like what made the pain worse than anything is that your leg is such a big area. So I don't even think I can begin to tell y'all exactly how many strips it took. I just knew it took way too many. It was to the point where by the time they finished, child, I was trying to get off the bed before they even wiped the remaining wax off of my leg. Not to mention I only let them wax one of my legs because one thing about me is I know when to say when. I may not know when to not do it, but I know when to quit. I know when to quit. Oh, so I just finished recording a little get ready with me or whatever. And now I'm about to go ahead and get into, excuse me, I'm about to go ahead and film this cosmetology video. I feel like it's gonna be quick and easy. It's easier for me to talk about things that I know off the top of my head, cause yeah, but okay, let me let me go film this video if I get off track. Ciao. Okay, let me turn off this thingy thing. Oh my goodness. Will your phone be on D&D &D and you actually have messages? Like, that's really crazy to me. But anyways, y'all, so I just finished um, filming this cosmetology video. Let me turn these lights off. Just finished filming this cosmetology video. My leg is literally falling asleep. And y'all, I literally, it took me a minute to film this video because I was kind of checking my phone um, as I was doing it because I forgot that, basically I forgot that I was selling this wig. Uh-oh. I forgot that I was selling this wig to one of my high school classmates or whatever. And I told her she can just come pick it up because she stays down the street. And so literally, as I'm filming the video, um. My sister was calling me a couple of times, but some told me like, okay, let's just, you know, see what's going on on the phone or whatever. And anybody who has like a ring camera knows like, unless you have like the plug-in thingy, I really can't hear when people actually like ring my doorbell. So I'm in here recording a video. Some says check my phone. 
So I checked my phone and literally my ring camera is showing like somebody's in my door. So I'm like, who is this in my door? So at that point, that's when I called my sister back because the girl on the video literally looks like my sister. My sister don't stay that close to me. So I'm like, girl, why are you just, you know, popping up or whatever? So that's when I realized, okay, wait, this may be the girl with the wig. So I opened the, uh, I opened the DMs and it was literally the girl coming for the wig. And I was like, dang girl, my bad. So I hurried up and I, uh, you know, ran the wig outside to her. We talked for a little bit and yeah. And then child, like, honestly, I would say, I would argue that this is the hard part about being a content creator. Um, it's just, I would say just like overall like negativity that is what i would say overall negativity and people feeling like they can express like their negative comments about you i don't even know because i wouldn't even call the situation itself negative but it's really just the way that people deliver things it's really the delivery and a lot of times like i'm not really a person that can even you know I'm not easily offended, especially not about strangers. Now, if it was somebody, you know, close to me or whatever, and you said something, I'm like, dang, you kind of hurt my feelings. But when it comes to strangers, I'm really not easily offended because the thing is, truthfully, even though I do like broadcast my life and, you know, share some things, I know that there are a lot of things that y'all don't see and a lot of things that, you know, I don't like fully share or disclose on the internet. And so I'm just like, you know, they don't see everything. Okay, y'all, so just got in the car because i just got the text that my target order is ready and i personally feel like if you're trying to reduce your spending at target the best way to do it is to just shop online for pickup now honestly i did i would have just went inside to grab this hard drive but it said it was cheaper if i purchased it online so uh, i purchased it online and i'm also kind of trying to figure out because i'm like hungry right now I'm kind of trying to figure out what I want to eat because I truly am hungry and I just don't know what I want to eat. So I'm trying to think because we have a couple of HelloFresh meals. Hmm, my stomach, I'm hungry. Anyways, I don't have much space left on this SD card either. So I'll see y'all when we get to Target. Okay, y'all. <clears throat> Why did I just pick that ah okay but <clears throat> i got panera bread for lunch it was good it was good but probably wasn't a good idea i think i need to challenge myself to truly live like the lactoserant what to tr okay hold on okay. i think i need to challenge myself to truly live like the lactose intolerant person that i truly am because that sandwich had entirely too much cheese on it. i got lunch from panera bread oh excuse me but y'all i was trying to think of the word like it's a phrase for i feel like it's one of them little tiktok phrases but for like when you like something that nobody else knows that you like i can't remember what it's called <laughs> but i was just thinking of it y'all and i'm gonna tell y'all what i like and this is gonna be like it may not be that weird but you know how like you be in different moods of like youtube so for example one day i may be in like a vloggy talky type mood so vlog wise i really like watching chloe yasmin i really like watching Aaliyah's face i love watching talitha jane and chloe yasmin like it's really just different phases for me because sometimes like when i really need like a pick me up chloe she always gonna pick me up child she always gonna pick me up and when i really just want like entertainment Talitha because Talitha always doing something and I'm like oh that's so interesting that's so interesting and sometimes I watch myself and I'm like wow I really see why people like vlogs and then Aaliyah I just love me some Aaliyah like truly and it took me years to watch her I just started watching Aaliyah's face this year and people would always tell me like yeah you know Aaliyah's face you know blah 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 and I'll be like, wow, like everybody, it just seems like everybody watch her. Diera as well. It took me a while. I, I've never even watched like a Diera and Ken video before, but I will always like hear about them. Um, and I just started watching Diera this year when she started her own channel. And I like Diera as well. But there are other times when I just like to see some funny, silly stuff, y'all. <laughs> 
and I love and don't judge me because they be saying some crazy stuff y'all but I just be needing a laugh so I love watching Canel Joseph and Jadeon y'all and it's like I be watching them and I be feeling so childish when I watch them but at the same time you know sometimes we be so caught up in adulting we forget to be children at heart I don't think that made the sense I wanted to make but oh my gosh I'll be watching these videos and honestly they be funny it really do be funny and I'm like I know good and well if one of them was in like if I was in the store with one of them at the same time and they was doing some dumb stuff I would be annoyed well yeah I'll, I'll probably be annoyed but y'all them videos be funny like I was sitting here cracking up oh my gosh and it be so crazy because I'm like dang like y'all crazy y'all really they really be going to jail like y'all be going too far y'all be going way too far but anyways I just was sitting here eating my lunch and I was watching um Canel Joseph's last video well his last couple of videos and child I'm not gonna lie it was a kiki it was a little hee hee who else do I like to watch um I really just watch the same people like all the time on YouTube frankly yeah frankly I do and especially like the vloggers and the girl vloggers too I love watching them because it makes me feel better about my channel like when I watch other people's vlogs it makes me want to vlog because sometimes I be feeling like oh I gotta be doing something like all the time or we have to go somewhere like just whatever and sometimes I'm like I watch them do the bare minimum and I'm like I be feeling bad when I'm doing like the bare minimum on my videos but I'm like wow no people actually enjoy that because I'm people and I enjoy watching that but anyways I'm gonna head to Target my order was ready like an hour ago but I've been sitting in the car watching videos so let's go and I had to go inside to pick it up because that's where it's at so let's see Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, y'all. The Tarjay package has been secured. Maybe that's my sign. Of the but anyways, secured. So I had a few people order some wigs off the site. Thankfully, y'all know I'm trying to get rid of these wigs. I'm trying to have these wigs gone. Basically buy my wedding I'm trying to have them going so right now I'm doing buy one get one free hopefully I mean if there's some available by the time y'all see this video then there's some available but hopefully ain't none left by the time y'all see this video because at this point I'm just throwing wigs in the bag so I already have one order in the car right now <clears throat> that I didn't take to the post office so I'm gonna just go back to the house drop my hard drive off get the other package and then go to the post Ooh, okay y'all I actually completely ran out of bags to put the wigs in when I ship them. So this person is getting the 16 inch kinky straight V part wig along with the 16 inch kinky curly clip bags. And some of these are washed. <laughs> but honestly, I'll wash them real quick if they're not washed. But let's see, I don't even remember. I have so many duplicates of some of this hair, it's really like, I don't even know which is which sometimes, but I'ma find it, I'ma find it. So let's see, you got, okay, so 16 inch kinky, wait, kinky straight feet. I think this is her, this is her, so, and honestly y'all with some of these wigs, I really have been like, well with most of this hair, I'm really trying to get rid of it. So, like low key, I'm throwing extras in because I'm trying to get rid of the hair. I'm not even joking, like. And we're getting there, slowly but surely, it's it's going. And whatever doesn't end up going, I'm just gonna end up, I don't know, maybe I'll, I don't know, I really don't wanna keep any of it just because I already have so much and a lot of these wigs i have been sitting on for literally like years at this point hence why i'm trying to get rid of them now so yeah 
Okay, let's see. So I believe these are the clip-ins. Which ones were they? I'm trying to see which ones were the new ones. I really can't even tell. I'm gonna go wash these clip-ins real quick so I can hurry up and package them and we can hit the post office. But I'm trying to see what extra I can throw in there. So extra-wise, I'm going to throw in the wigs that I feel like nobody is looking at. And these are like mainly wigs that I've had the longest amount of time. And I just feel like people, you know, I'm not even interested in these wigs. But let me go wash these clip-ins and I'll be right back. Y'all, so tell me why I literally went all the way to the post office and then realized that I left y'all sitting right here on the couch. Yeah, I apologize. But anyways, I just got back from shipping off the two orders I had. And one of my old classmates literally just ordered one more. So, I have an excuse to go back out. Because let me tell y'all, I was at the post office and I was like, mm, I saw this lady with this cute like Old Navy workout set on. And I was like, ooh, that's cute. I want to go to Old Navy. But then, um, what happened? What happened, girl? But then I realized I left my camera at the house. And I was like, dang, I gotta go back and get the camera. So let's see what we got going on here. Cool beans. Y'all, even though, like, I just need to get rid of these wigs, y'all. Because, oh my goodness. Like, and this is, most of these wigs have only been worn one time. But it's the fact that I no longer want to see them in my apartment. Because I have, I have like my regular rotation of wigs and then i just have like you know the wigs that were worn once and i just kept them and so in this kind of process stage of like decluttering and whatnot i'm trying to kind of just get rid of unused stuff and especially since i know that there are people out here who like the wigs i'm trying to ship as many of these off as possible and have them going asap because they have been with me for a long time and i don't want to care for them no more so that's why I'm selling them so cheap. And for the ones that I just feel like either I don't have pictures with them or I just feel like they would be harder to sell because of how old they are. I'm literally, I have literally just been throwing those into um the package or whatever. I've just been sliding those in there. But she ordered two wigs because like I told y'all earlier, it is buy one, get one free. And let me at least brush the wig out. Hold on. I'm gonna throw an extra wig in there with hers too, cause I know ain't nobody finna buy this, cause I don't even know. Like this, this wig wasn't even on the website because I really don't even know what to put. But you never know. Some people like to play and experiment with wigs, so I might as well ship it off. Anyway. Okay. So post office run number two, and you know, post office. We got about three more hours while the post office is open, so I'm sure I can go. You know, drop off some more orders if necessary anything to get these wigs off of my floor but anyways now that i have picked y'all off from the house i'm so sorry for leaving y'all child so we're gonna go drop this wig off at the post office well these wigs off at the post office and we're also gonna stop into old navy y'all i feel like i'm not gonna buy anything but you know maybe maybe i look around specifically i watched a tiktok video a while ago when this girl was talking about kind of just transforming her wardrobe because now i donate a lot like and it took me a minute to get here and i think the best way to do it is gradually not all at the same time because when you're doing it all at the same time like you'll feel like you know you did enough or whatever hey what's up brother they probably hearing my guys like bro i hear you you good bro i don't like when people stare at me like that but yeah when you do it all at the same time you'll feel like you're you know donating a whole bunch and then it'll probably be a minute before you do it again so usually what i like to do is anytime i'm deep deep cleaning or even when i let my laundry pile up a whole lot because the thing about letting your laundry pile up a lot is the fact that you'll start to notice when all of the like when you run out of all of the things you usually wear like Hopefully this ain't TMI, <laughs> but I noticed when I noticed that okay, girl, you you didn't went too long without doing laundry. When I have like my seven least favorite pairs of underwear left in the drawer, and we all have least favorite pairs of underwear, child. Like so. With that being said, when I get down to you know 
I'm like, uh uh, it's time, you know, do some laundry because I'm missing my favorite pairs and my favorite shorts and all that good stuff. But basically, during that time, since I know that literally everything. Okay, should I go in front of them? At this point, I just don't believe in having clothes I don't wear because they're just taking up space. So, slowly but surely, I've kind of been getting rid of everything that I don't wear in order to make room for things that I do wear. Now, I have been trying to, you know, reduce the amount of hauls I do. So, I really. I'm low key not into big shopping hauls anymore, only because I've seen what comes from them. For example, with a lot of the hauls that I do with Shein, some of that stuff never gets worn. Um, let's see, a lot of that stuff never gets worn. Worn. Some of the stuff gets worn maybe once, maybe twice, and then it just sits in my closet and I forget I have it. But a lot of times I realize. There is really no reason for me to go buy 26 pieces, 30 pieces of clothes. Like, I just feel like there's no reason for that. Especially when you're shopping for an occasion as well. That's why I was just like, mm, maybe not. And so usually those are the clothes that I always end up donating or they always end up, you know, breaking. Now, don't get me wrong. Shein definitely has been getting better. Like, they do have a lot of quality pieces that I continue to wear and that are very, you know, durable from what I can tell. But as far as it goes, you know, just buying stuff just for the sake of buying it, uh-uh, boo. And then another thing I also started doing is because I have a lot of items that I like to wear constantly. And you can tell. And when I say you can tell, I literally mean, girl, when I tell you, lint balls everywhere. And I feel like there's levels to, you know, caring about your appearance. Like, I'm not the type where I'm just like, I care too much. But at the same time, I'm like, girl, now why did you walk out the house like this? And those moments are like ones where I think I told y'all a couple of weeks ago, I went to a track meet. I went to one of Jalen's um, track meets with my mom and I just threw something on. I threw on like a little sweater with my red Crocs and a little red, you know, cap or whatever. And it wasn't until we got to the track meet and I actually looked at my outfit that I realized, girl, you look a hot mess right now. Why did my sweatshirt, it was literally this white sweatshirt that I got from Shein, ouch, bit my lip. Literally this white sweatshirt that I got from Shein ages ago, it had lint balls all over it. Then my red Crocs, I had been tinting my brows um, a few weeks ago wearing the red Crocs. So some henna fell on the Crocs child and stained the Crocs like I had poop on my shoes. And I just looked at myself and I was like, you gotta do better. So since then, I have also been donating like all of the items I have where it's just like, I can't really salvage them. The ones that I've been taken over by lint, like a roller won't even help at this point, or just stains that I won't be able to get out. I've just been donating them. And so I'm trying to kind of supplement my wardrobe in that way. And also when it comes to comfort clothes, I like to be cute and comfortable, but just because you want to be comfortable doesn't mean that you need to you know, wear sweatpants all the time. And I don't, but I realize I really don't have pants other than um leggings and jeans so with that being said i have been um uh, sorry please i have been looking for like these trouser type pants i saw a girl post a tiktok video about them so i've been looking for them and um one of the girls that i follow taylor marie she posted about something that she found at old navy so hopefully if i go there and i see them i can try something on so i can see how they look because sometimes how it looks on other people is not how it's gonna look on you friend so yeah but anyways let me get to this post office y'all the summer is summering because it's hot my car is 89 degrees but you know my car be a little wrong sometimes okay we're about to head to old navy and we're gonna see what we find Loki found some cute dresses in here too, so we're gonna try them all on. Okay, we're in the dressing room, so let's try on a pair of pants. Number one. My 
feet are ashy. So let me flip the camera. I think I like these, y'all. Very tight. I don't think I like the black ones as much as I like the white or the beige ones. Okay, y'all, so I got this dress. I also like this dress, but I literally, I literally could not get my head to do this thing. It's kind of cute though. Come on. Okay, y'all. So I am just now leaving Old Navy, and I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. They got me. Old Navy got. Old Navy got me. Why did I go into Old Navy? Ooh. Why did I go into Old Navy? But anyways, while I was in there, I actually just ended up filming a whole little, you know, Old Navy haul or whatever. But ciao. I can't believe it. I need to stay my butt home. Mm. But anyways. I personally feel like I picked up some pretty good, like some pretty cute stuff or whatever. But I'm not gonna cap this whole thing of just buying pieces that will last. It's low key expensive, y'all. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. See, that's the thing about Shein. And this is what I would say every time people be like, no, don't shop there, blah, blah, blah. The thing is, you won't be able to buy like 30 pieces of clothes for under $500 anywhere else but she and it's honestly insane that you can do that on there but then at the same time like i said before do i actually really need like 30 pieces of clothes because half the time i don't even wear all of that and most of the stuff i just be ordering because it was like 50 cents so yeah but anyways got me some cute little pieces i kind of went through all the pieces that i got like on my instagram reel so i'll try to attach it here come shopping with me at old navy so today i was shopping for everything and nothing at the same time starting off with this blue dress i found y'all i don't really know what i expected of this dress but this color looks so good on me then i'm a girl who loves a dress with pockets so this one was an automatic yes. for this pink i really love the color but the overall dress was given nightgown i wish it was a little more snatched up like that but I don't know about this one. Then I found some more blue and y'all, I'm really starting to think blue is really my color cause get into this active top. I love the bag, that was my favorite part. And I also love me some cute tennis skirts. So I found this one first. It was really cute with the shorts under it. And then I found one that kind of had more ruffles and I didn't really like this one, but it was giving, you know, a little, uh, 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 uh. but yeah, it was a no. And now for these pants, I thought this color was really cute. They were a little big, this was a medium, and if it was a small, it would be perfect. Now for the shorts, I did not like the shorts as much. And something about this pink during summertime, y'all, I found this little one piece romper. And it was given, but they had no smalls left. The extra small was too small and the medium was too big, so I had to take an L on this one. Once I go ahead and edit it, but girl, I found me some cute stuff. Old Navy, like, Old Navy Ben had the bangers, y'all. Old Navy Ben had the nice stuff. So anyways, I'm headed back home now, so. I'll see y'all when I get there. Ooh, child. We're back. We're back. And y'all, honestly, 